Hello everyone. My name is Tanya Riles. I'm the consultant for governance and management with the Vermont Department of Libraries. Today's short orientation video for trustees is on the division of duties for trustees of incorporated libraries. Each public library is governed by a board of trustees. For incorporated libraries, Vermont Title 22, Chapter 3, Subchapter 2 states in part, the trustees, managers, or directors shall elect the officers of the corporation from their number and have the control and management of the affairs and property of the corporation, may accept donations, and in their discretion, hold the donations in the form in which they are given for the purposes of science, literature, and art germane to the objects and purposes of the corporation. They may, in their discretion, receive by loan books, manuscripts, works of art, and other library materials and hold or circulate them under the conditions specified by the owners. Libraries wishing to meet the minimum Vermont standards must employ a librarian who is responsible for the overall operations of the library. This librarian role is often referred to as a director, and that is the term I will be using in this video. While the trustees have full power to manage the library, the director provides the administration of the library. As a result, the daily operations of the library are managed by the director. The trustees provide oversight for the director and the library as a whole. Please note that one important aspect of the trustees role is to recruit and retain a well qualified director. Overall, the focus of the trustees is the well being of the library, but what duties are expected of them? As a trustee, you should be familiar with laws impacting the institution, including federal, state, and local laws. You should also be familiar with your bylaws and policies. Trustees ensure that a strategic plan is in place, which the director coordinates and implements. The strategic plan requires a regular commitment from both parties to review progress, reaffirm its support to the library's mission, and to update the plan. Trustees should seek to ensure that the library receives adequate funding and work alongside the director to assist in preparing and presenting budget proposals. It's important that each trustee understand the budget and can answer questions about it if needed. Each trustee must be ready to participate in all board meetings and has a duty to put aside personal agendas when making decisions. They must exercise discretion and respect confidentiality outside of meetings. Trustees should be regular library users. Whether checking out items, attending programs, or using meeting spaces, it's valuable to spend time engaging with the resources and see how others use the library. This enables you to be a better advocate on the benefits of the library. Trustees and directors alike are welcomed and encouraged to consult with the Vermont Department of Libraries regarding the needs of their library. Trustees should be dedicated advocates for their library in a variety of ways including discussing it locally with organizations they are involved in to advance the mission of the library and advocating for their institution to state or local officials. They can stay current on local trends, library trends, and issues by joining professional networking organizations such as United for Libraries or the Vermont Library Association, attending trainings and conferences, and signing up for the VitLib Friends and Trustees listserv. For more information on the listserv, please visit the link on the screen. Trustees should acknowledge the director's need for professional training and demonstrate this through providing financial support and pay time for the director to attend trainings and conferences. Trustees should provide the director with a regular evaluation of their performance. They may also consider conducting a self-evaluation of the board. The evaluation for the director would consider the director's overall performance. Key in the director's hand key to the director's performance is their handling of daily operations, which includes personnel management of volunteers and staff, collection development, budget implementation, and for some, building maintenance. The director also advises the trustees on issues impacting the institution. This includes, but is not necessarily limited to, personnel, financial, and policy needs. Typically, the director prepares or updates policies and provides policy guidance to the trustees. Policies may be created or revised because there's a clear need for it, there's been a change in laws, maybe at the request of the trustees, or it's in accordance with the policy renewal schedule. The trustees identify and adopt policies that govern the library. The director then implements those policies. 
Thank you for watching and learning more about the Division of Duties for Incorporated Library Trustees. My contact information is on the screen if you need to reach out to me regarding your library.